Mein Name ist Franz Nestmann. Ich My name is Franz Nestmann and I have been head of the Institute of Hydraulic Engineering and Water Resources Management at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, formerly University of Karlsruhe, since 1994. The research areas of this institute focus on energy hydraulic engineering on the one hand and on the other hand the development of large flowing waters, for example for inland navigation. Furthermore, we are researching water as a resource in the sense of water supply of the people, with a focus on countries that are emerging and developing. It is no coincidence that this very wide thematic range at his institute reflects Nestman's life's work in his profession. Franz Nestman is an engineer who attaches great importance to the theoretical foundations and their concrete applications, but he is also a human being with the desire to use his knowledge meaningfully for others and for the protection of nature. The scientific foundations of his work are utilized in hydraulic engineering throughout Germany, for example in the construction or operation of new hydropower plants. When building and optimizing new plants, very much can be done to optimize the flow in the inlets and outlets so that little energy is lost there. Franz Nestmann's expertise is not only in demand for the construction of plants, as here at the Rheinfelden Hydro Power Plant, but Karlsruhe's expertise is also used for the operation of the plants. In the case of extensive interventions in nature, it is important not only to model any changes in advance, but also to keep an eye on them in the long term. This means that you cannot divert as much water as you like from the Rhein, but you have to do it in a water management way. That way, the sinking caused by the withdrawal of water from the Rhein does not cause ships to descend to the bottom. For this purpose, we have installed numerical models on the control stations here that map the discharge events in the Rhein over a long stretch in the high Rhine area, and thus make water levels and discharge conditions quantifiable depending on these operations. The Rheinfelden Run of River power plant supplies 170,000 households with climate-neutral electricity and thus makes an important contribution to a sustainable energy supply. Both construction and operation require scientific principles, such as those developed and taught at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. With the establishment of the fish pass, the conversion measures were also implemented with consideration for the fish fauna. Das hat man getan, indem man Strömungsversuche in einem Wassermodell durchgeführt hat im Labor. This was done by carrying out flow experiments in a water model in the laboratory. First, in order to model the flow diversity in such a way that calm currents were artificially created alongside fast currents. They were created by dredging large amounts of gravel here and there in the water body. The result is this fishway, one of the largest fishways with a natural flow in Europe. The combination of theory and experiments in the laboratory and the subsequent application in harmony with nature is also found among young scientists. Andreas Muller is a doctoral researcher with Nestmann. His position was established with support of the Hector Fellow Academy. Here at the Institute, Muller is writing his doctoral thesis on the river structuring and bank protecting effects of river fixtures. Like Nestmann, Muller is not only pursuing an interest in engineering, but also strives to find an ecologically valuable solution. In the laboratory, he can carry out experiments with the insertion of groins in flowing waters virtually in fast motion. If the results are promising in terms of improving the structure of the watercourse, they are also tried out in field trials and documented. Water structuring means that we want to create different habitats in the actually monotonous developed flowing water. For example, shallow bank areas for juvenile age stages of the various fish species or deeper areas called scours, where adult fish can retreat for protection from predators. We have very big ecological challenges, especially in regard to water. If we think about climate change, it will have an impact on many communities. We will get greater low and high water phases. That means that the ecosystem of flowing waters is under very strong pressure overall. With my research, I would like to contribute to the fact that we can do something for the fauna and flora in bodies of water through this construction method, even in areas where ecological improvements cannot be achieved.
In addition to shore protection, another of France Nestman's major fields of activity is coastal protection, an issue that currently affects more than 100 million people in Asia alone and is gaining in importance as climate change progresses. There, he has implemented projects for shore protection that are of vital importance for the survival of many people. In the mountains of Vietnam, he has also advanced the supply of drinking and process water for the people, and has realized projects that secure the livelihood of many people. Being able to implement these projects was also possible because Franz Nestmann gained an international reputation through the Hector Fellow Academy. Die meisten meiner Projekte sind im Ausland angesiedelt. Most of my projects are located abroad. There, you only get a chance to carry out large projects if you are also renowned in your home country. Abroad, people are aware of what you do at home. That means that when I was introduced into the Hector Fellow Academy back then, people in the countries where I work, in Vietnam, in Indonesia, Pakistan, India, knew that immediately. In the following years, together with my colleagues, I was active in large research projects to give water to people in very remote regions. The water is regenerative, thus without special energy, which one would provide by diesel generators or otherwise. For example, by withdrawal of the energy from nature, thus a regenerative water supply, the humans here are helped. In most cases, it is not a matter of creating central, large, powerful plants, but of providing help in the mountain regions, in the remote regions, where people sometimes live under very difficult conditions, such as water and energy shortages. The knowledge of such large facilities can be utilized to build smaller facilities for them. With a growing world population, the first and foremost thing will be to supply people with water and food. And even for the food production, water is needed. That's essential. That's why this water issue is a global issue and ultimately a habitat issue. The technology has to be in agreement with the habitat and the people, and it has to be sustainable. I'm sure that will be maintained and that will be continued.